Hey guys, Jay here with Word of Advice TV, and in this video I'll be answering the question of how long does a furnace or air conditioner last and when it should be replaced. Now there are varying opinions regarding this out there, so I would love to hear your thoughts and ideas about everything you hear in the comments section below. To begin with, let's see what the big brands have to say about this. If we look at Carrier.com, According to them, their units should last about 15 to 20 years. And that tends to be the most commonly used number for the average lifetime of an HVAC unit. Next up is Goodman, and they refuse to comment on the subject. I found no information on their website about the average lifetime of their units. So instead, I went to HVACseer.com, and according to them, Goodman units last 10 to 15 years, but if you take care of them well, they may last all the way up to 25 years. Now to me, that's a pretty giant range. Basically that's saying they can last anywhere from 10 to 25 years. That's like saying a car can last up to 100,000 miles all the way up to 250,000 miles. And by the way, saying that the average life of an air conditioner is 15 years is the same thing as saying that the average life of a car is 100,000 miles. Can it go over 100,000 miles? Of course, there's cars that go up to 300,000 miles and even 400,000 miles. But let's move on to train, which is the same thing as American Standard, and according to them, their units last 10 to 20 years. That's a pretty strategic answer, and I have an idea about this. I may be wrong, but let me share it with you. They say 10 to 20 years. So let's think about this. For a manufacturing company, the more often you buy a new unit, the better it is for them, the more money they make. So actually, they want the lifespan, the average lifespan number, to be lower. That way, more customers are likely to buy a new unit because their existing unit is reaching that expected average lifespan. But at the same time, if they set the number too low, lower than their competitors, then people might think that, hey, the reason their lifespan, the average lifespan is so low is because the quality of their product is lower than the other brands. So they don't want that either. So they simply say 10 to 20 years. They don't wanna set the number too high. If they say something like, hey, our units can last all the way up to 35 years, well then homeowners are a lot less likely to replace their unit when it's 12 years old. Whereas, you know, if they say average life is 10 to 20 years, homeowners are probably gonna think about it. You know, if their unit is 12 years old, it, it's in that range, so maybe it's a good time to replace. So that's my thoughts of why they picked that range. 10 to 20 years. It's not too low and it's not too high. But what do you think? Is there any strategy behind this or did they simply just throw a number out there? Next up, we have the Department of Energy and they also recommend replacing an HVAC unit every 10 to 15 years. In summary, most of these HVAC manufacturers and the energy organizations all urge you to replace an air conditioner or a furnace when it gets to 10 to 15 years old. Because if everybody kept their units until 30 years old, well, that would be bad for business. But let's get back to the main question. If a homeowner asks me when they should replace their air conditioner or their furnace, the first question I ask them is, is your air conditioner or furnace running fine? Is it cooling and heating good? There's no problems with it? If the answer is yes, then there's just absolutely no need to even entertain the thought of replacing it. Likely, it will last a lot longer. Of course, this is only my personal opinion. This is the conclusion that I came to myself when I worked on hundreds of air conditioners and hundreds of furnaces. I noticed that plenty of them go over 20 years old, 25 years old, and quite a few go over 30 years old. And there is definitely some truth to the idea of they don't build them like they used to. The old units are definitely more durable and they definitely last longer which is actually another reason to keep the old unit, because the new one that you get is most likely not gonna last as long as the old one would have. Next, let's deal with HVAC units that are not cooling enough, or they're not heating enough, or they're simply broken and they need to be repaired. Is it worth repairing them? My personal philosophy is that if it is fixable, fix it, regardless of how old it is, unless the cost of repairing it is enormous. On an air conditioner, an enormous bill would usually be caused by a compressor that goes out. If the compressor on an air conditioner goes out, then the price of repairing that may warrant thinking about getting a new unit. Or on a furnace, if the heat exchanger goes out, then perhaps it's time to consider getting a new furnace as well, because the cost of repairing that may get pretty steep as well. If we go back to the Department of Energy, according to them, if the repair cost is more than half the price of a new unit, then it is better to simply replace the unit. 
and that part sounds pretty reasonable to me. But luckily, most repairs don't involve the compressor or the heat exchanger, so it is worth repairing the unit. And here is the part that gets a little bit hairy. What do you think makes HVAC companies more money? Replacing an HVAC system or repairing it? Of course, replacing it makes them a lot more money. So if you get unlucky and you call out a company that encourages their technicians to try to sell you a new unit instead of repairing your existing one, then of course they're gonna rack up the bill as high as they can and they'll try to present the facts in such a way that will make it sound unreasonable to repair your unit. Why not just add some money and get a new air conditioner? Let me give you an example of what a quote by a technician like this would sound like. After he's done looking at your unit, your air conditioner or your furnace, they will come to you and say, sir, I diagnosed your air conditioner and I found multiple things wrong with it. We can definitely fix it, but with the price of the repair, it may be worth considering getting a new unit, especially since the age of your air conditioner is nine years old, which is about the average lifespan of an air conditioner. Plus, the refrigerant used in your unit is no longer produced and it is getting phased out. Right now would be a perfect time to replace it because we're currently running a promotion at our company where if you replace your furnace and air conditioner as a package, we will give you $2,000 off. And before I show you the estimated total, just keep in mind that we do offer financing. And to make this deal even better, the new HVAC system that we put in will come with a five years parts and labor warranty which is voided if we don't do an annual $150 inspection on the unit. Sounds like a great deal, right? And guys, guys, I'm not trying to badmouth the HVAC industry. This is just the way the world works. There's bad companies, there's good companies. There's honest techs and dishonest techs. There might be those that will rip you off or there may be people that will do it for free just because they're good, kind people. But this doesn't just happen in HVAC. For example, if you go to a hospital, it brings them a lot more money if you keep coming back than if they just fix you the one time and you leave. So when you come over there with a problem, they want to do a test, they want you to come back another week for another test, and then another test, then they do a prescription, then you have to come back in a week to check if the prescription is working, then they might give you a different prescription, and you keep coming back and coming back and coming back. The best case scenario, money-wise, for the hospital is to keep you coming back over and over and over again a lifetime subscription. Or if we take a chiropractor, as far as I understand, if you dislocate your back, if you go to a chiropractor right away, they should be able to fix you up in one or two sessions. But most of the time what will happen is the chiropractor will ask you to come back twice a week for at least one month. And the same thing can happen with plumbers, electricians, mechanics, and my favorite, my favorite is the dentist. You come into a dentist with zero cavities, you come out with 10 cavities, you need five fillings and three root canals. Of course, that last one is a joke, but there is a little bit of truth to it. But anyway, let's wrap all of this up and summarize what I've been saying. Long story short, if your unit is working and it has no problems, don't touch it, don't replace it, just let it go. It'll probably last a lot longer. If it is broken, then try to get it fixed if possible. If the bill that you get, the quote, is outrageous, then get a second opinion, get a third opinion, get a fourth opinion. I know it sucks, it's time consuming, and you might end up paying a few trip fees, but usually it is worth it to shop around. Because the first technician that comes out might tell you that you need a new furnace or a new air conditioner, whereas the second opinion that you get, that second guy might tell you, oh, 80 bucks and it'll be good to go. If the first company that you call out gives you some crazy quote, then by all means, tell them thank you, you will consider it, send them on their way, and call out a second guy, a third guy, as many as you need. I've personally been on a few calls where a technician before me came out and said that the compressor was bad on an air conditioner, and when I came out, I checked the compressor, everything was good, I was the second opinion. Compressor was fine, the only thing that was bad is the capacitor. So once I replaced the capacitor, everything was good. And I'm sure the technicians watching me can attest to this as well, that they've run into a couple of situations like this during their career too. But anyway, let's be done. That is all I had for you. I would love to hear your thoughts about this. If you agree or disagree with the things I said in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to mash that like button on the way out and I'll see you next time. And if you're still here and not in the comments section below, here's a little puzzle for you. See if you can figure it out before I show you the right answer in 30 seconds. Good luck.